again, I apologize for not being flowers now. I've done that twice now. I should learn right now. Good morning, church. We're, we're coming to the end of our journey. Can someone kill these two speakers right here? Just take the volume down on the monitor speakers because they're blowing me away. We're coming together on the end of our journey of the four cornerstones of the new church. And our journey is about the four items that we talked about. Faith. They're not going to do it. Hope, love, and, and the final cornerstone, the building block, that is Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen? We're coming together so that this journey is, is not only... For us as Christ's church, but most importantly, what I hope above all things is for our personal walk with Him. I, I was pleasantly surprised today to turn on Daniel Jeremiah and he was talking about engaging faith this morning at 6.30. Are you ready to engage your faith, your belief system, so that you can become the world changer that Christ has called you to be? And we do that by embracing and engaging the four cornerstones of Christ's new church. Amen? So this final installment that is Jesus Christ is not the end, but the beginning, the middle, and the end of everything we do as his church and everything that we do as his believers. Amen? But we have to come with the attitude of surrender and we have to come offering all of ourselves up. Um, Anybody a baker in here? Okay. We have to follow recipes, don't we? What happens if you make chocolate or peanut butter cookies and don't put peanut butter in? Yuck! What if you make chocolate chip cookies and you don't put sugar in? You got bread with black spots in the middle. And what is it? If we call ourselves Christians, but we don't surrender ourselves to Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and allow Him to have all of us, we come off as institutions that don't really know what they're doing. And my goal and my, and my whole passion for living for not only myself and for you and for the community and for the world is to know true representation of God the Father on a community that when they meet people from a church of Jesus Christ, they say there's something so beautifully different about them. They not only make the best cookies, but they truly love who I am despite myself. I'm forgiven because you, my Lord and Savior, were forsaken. I'm accepted and you were condemned. That's the kind of love that should drive everything we do in life. Amen? When we think about faith and believing, I'm drawn to the book of John chapter 5, where Jesus says, Very truly I tell you, whoever hears my word and believes in him who sent me has eternal life and will not be judged, but has crossed over from death unto life. Engaging faith, believing it, saying that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior, and I will follow and do all that you ask. I am yours. In the book of, of, of Hebrews, chapter 12, it, it says, Fix your eyes upon Jesus, who is the pioneer and perfecter of faith, for the joy set before him, before him, he endured the cross, the scorning and its shame, and sat down at the right hand as the throne of God. That's the hope we have of enduring the dark world, enduring the trials of life, overcoming earth, and living forever in heaven. In John 14, Jesus said, But whoever drinks from this water that I give them shall never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up into eternal life. Jesus is begging us to take him in and take all of him. Not, don't play the game of pieces, parts, but play the game of true excitement and true understanding. If we don't, Jesus is the master baker, amen? He has the perfect recipe for eternal life. 
and peace and joy and understanding is far beyond our imagination. But we got a big pie. Have you ever had a, a strawberry pie without strawberries? It's red syrup. I want Jesus and I want all of him because that's when his delicious presence will, will forever change me. Amen? Today we're, we're focusing on that. We're going to focus <coughs> on Jesus, the rock in the corner of the We're going to say he's not only the final block, but he's the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. No one comes to the Father except through who? Jesus. Through Jesus, our Lord and Savior. So that final cornerstone is a life in submission to Him. This video that I'm about to invite you to watch is 10 minutes long. And at the end of it, I'm just going to summarize it. Because it says what is needed to have says what is needed to complete the journey and become wonderfully, beautifully made. Guys, you want to cue that up? Ephesians 2.10 says that we are God's workmanship is masterpiece. I don't know about you, but when I go up to the morning and look in the mirror, I don't really see a, a masterpiece, you know? I mean, maybe a Picasso. It's like... <laughs> But I want to be his masterpiece. I want to be everything he created me to be. And so I go to him in prayer and I say, Dear Heavenly Father, do whatever it takes to mold me to the image of your son. Make me your masterpiece. In Jesus' name I pray. Hi. Whoa. Who are you? I'm God. You said the prayer, so here I am. You're not God. No, I am. You said the prayer, it's how it works. Okay, okay. You're God. And, uh, make it snow in here. You know what? I really don't want to make it snow in here because it's getting kind of yucky. Yeah, you're not God. Why are you saying that? God wouldn't say yucky. I do. It's a green word. <laughs> oh, okay, wait. Um, if you're God, what does Lamentations 15 9 say? Lamentations is only five chapters. It's a very short book. Oh. Why was it so short? I was tired of lamenting. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. If you're God, who's going to win the World Series this year? I'm running out of playing games. Why are you so much for playing games? You are not. Well, gave it away. You answered my question with a question. I did? <sighs> yeah, I did that. No, no, I did. Yeah, I did. Put that part out. Here we go. Okay. Hey, all right. Hey, what are we doing? I'm going to make you my original masterpiece. This is the process. Oh, okay, fine. Wait, wait. What are these about? These are the tools I'm going to use to make you into my original masterpiece. Okay. Hang on. Yeah. I thought you were a carpet. That's my son. Step right up. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know what to chisel away and what to leave? I tend out everything you're like that doesn't belong there, kind of like dead weight. Ooh, speaking of dead weight, did you chisel right here? I showed up when I was in my 20s and grew around and came back. I don't even know why you created that, but I can't get rid of it. I mean, I've tried everything. Like, I tried running, I tried lifting weights. My wife actually talked me into trying Pilates. That was an odd word. But I can't get rid of it. So if you would just chisel around here, and then, you know what, if you chisel a line right here, and maybe four, Maybe eight lines right here. That would be awesome. You're funny. You made me that way. I also made the platypus. <laughs> All I'm saying is, most of my children, when it comes to this process, they just want to talk, but they don't want to do the work. So, do you want to talk or can I chisel? Talk, chisel. No, 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 no. I choose the chisel. All right. Well. Okay, I'm just screwed up and bring up things in your life that I want you to work on. Like your anger. <laughs> I created the emotion, but you use it the wrong way. Um, compare yourself to others instead of me. You can tell little white lies because you want people please. You're lazy. But you try to fool everybody by looking really, really busy. You have a problem with lust? Well, time out. <laughs> I don't really have a problem. You don't have a problem with lust. No, I can do it any time I want. <sighs> Hang on a second. I mean, I, I got it, man. I, I feel like you've been doing some great work, and I'm looking pretty good right now. All right, when you look in the mirror, who do you see? 
see me. Okay, then I need to keep chiseling away because ultimately you and other people need to see my sight. Okay, don't misunderstand me. It's just um, when I look more like Jesus, people get uncomfortable around me. I mean, even my church friends, and they're like, oh, you're holier than that. No, I don't think it's supposed to make people uncomfortable. So what you're saying is you rather play God in certain areas of your life than for me to be God over your whole life. That is not what I said. That's what you meant. Yes, sir. <laughs> Um, it's hard to talk to you. You know everything that I'm thinking. I'm just saying you've done some great work. Maybe we take a break, a sabbatical from each other, you know. I'll stay right here and then you That's know. just that you never just stay right there. You're either moving toward me or away from me, but never even just stay. What you're gonna call control. Do you want to control things or life or can I chisel? Control, chisel, control. No, chisel, chisel. Alright. But <laughs> that's called control. Okay, I'm sorry. Now this right here, this secret sin that you keep running to when you're hurting, angry, lonely, tired, that you think you're fooling everybody, but it's making you a whitewashed tomb. Are you ready for me to chisel this out of your life? Yeah. See, it's a process. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon. It's your whole life. And you care so deeply about what other people think of you. It's rubbish. It's garbage. The greatest thing you're going to hear is at the end of your life, when you hear me say, well done, good and faithful servant, that's what you keep your eye on. That's the prize. Heavenward. <laughs> oh, it hurts. Oh, trust me, this hurts me more than it hurts you. Right. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I just, I don't think you understand this pain. Pardon me? You're asking me to sacrifice a lot, God. No. Talking about sacrifice. I know all about sacrifice. I sent my son down to the cross for pain, for sin, but I also did it for another reason to give you freedom. Do you know what insanity is? Insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again, expecting different results. And there are things that you've been doing for years. These empty wells that don't have anything to offer. You've been going to them, and it's insane. Allow me to chisel them out of your life. Allow me to produce character when you keep focusing so much on your image. Okay, but I was thinking. Your thoughts are not my thoughts. Okay, but if we went another way. Oh, I can't. You can't what? I, I, I can't I can't be good. That's your excuse. That's your excuse is that you can't be good. It's not an excuse. I can't. Oh, my child. In the beginning, I said it was good. I made you good. I made you good. You and I both won. No one is nothing, okay? You wouldn't understand. I, God of all the universe, wouldn't understand something one of my children has to say. Try me. It's just that uh, I let you down so many times, God. No, my child. You were never holding me up. I hold you up, my victorious righteous right hand. Never the other way around. In this relationship, I hold you up. Okay. Chisel away. Just, just be prepared for what you're going to find. Because I know who's inside here. Because I get very important that I look at him in the mirror. And I hate the voice. It's deep inside there, this, this, this little kid who gets up every morning and dresses like an adult. And I go out and I, I, I try to do what I'm supposed to do, but I can't, okay? I can't be who everybody else expects me to be. God, I can't be who I want to be, but especially who you created me to be. And so inside is this scared, stupid little kid. But you just go away. You have listened to so many voices for far too long that were not for me. And you have totally gone to lie, haven't you? You think you're drunk, don't you? When you lay your head down at night, after you've done the dance to get the hug, you think you're drunk. Listen to me. I don't take time to make junk. How can I show you that my love for you stretches as far as the east to the west? I show you that my love for you has no end. I know. Reach your back pocket. What? Reach your back pocket. Why? Are you arguing with me? Reach your back pocket. Ah, God. Yes? I just 
God, I'll do that right now. You're just saying my name in vain. Come on, it's, it's a name, it's a saying. It's a name above all names. It's more than a saying, it's more than a name. I want to teach you something about my name. Reach in my pocket.
we come becoming obedient to death. Even death on the cross. That's the cornerstone that was laid for you and I to be beautifully made. That's the cornerstone. That's, that's the foundation of not only our personal life, but the life of Christ's church. For the world to know and to experience as we experience when we worship Him. That God is for us, therefore nothing can be against us. Amen? No weapon shall prosper against my Lord. Against my family, the Lord says. The journey of understanding our foundation is about taking a journey in our life, remembering that moment in our life where we heard Him call our name. Where we heard him say, John, Scott, Jenny, Ray, <coughs> fill in the blank. <coughs> but he's been calling our name today. <coughs> he's calling our name. And he's inviting us in to something that's so beautiful and life-changing and life-altering. Nothing else matters. That face in the mirror that we look at every day is Jesus. We have to accept it and embrace it and allow it to be true in our life. Or it's just us. So today I want to invite you to engage your faith. To embrace the cornerstone. I want to invite you, if God is calling your name, come down here and pray. And receive what he has to offer. I want you, I want to invite you to experience all of him. Christ Jesus, our Lord. Let's pray this prayer. It's going to pop up on the screen together. And as Katie plays with Christ leads you here. Come. <clears throat> know that he's waiting. Lord Jesus, I come. I come and offer you all of me. To all of you. Lord Jesus, you are my Lord Savior. And I just pray for all of you. It's to you, my Father. And to you, my Lord And you, my Lord you, my Lord Savior.